Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our Nike Hot Seat special guest today is a guy I've been looking at for an awful long time, not only as a wrestler, but as what turned out to be a very, very good coach. Mark Schwab joins us now from Cedar Falls. Mark, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, Scott. Thanks. Congratulations on a successful career in coaching. You kind of threw a little bit of a, a, a low hard one and got my attention when you determined that you were going to leave coaching as, as a veteran assistant there with your brother at UNI and move into uh, perhaps the different stage of your life. As a matter of fact, you felt after you got your, your uh, second degree in uh, sports psychology that perhaps you had a different purpose. Can you explain? Yeah, I actually think that uh, that thought process started in the late 90s, um, you know, towards work and towards the uh, sports psychology or, or just, you know, the uh, the mental side of things. You know, I just uh, I scratch my head at at, uh, you know, so many athletes that I've coached where that's the seems to be the uh, the common component with with uh, lots of athletes. And then in 2010, when I went back to the University of Minnesota, uh, it took those uh, 18 hours. That was just, yeah, just another step towards solidifying, um, you know, this move towards, uh, you know, still being a coach, but just in a different arena and not on the mat, you know, uh, more, more in life. Now, you have presentations and programs. Uh, let's title them Opportunities to Succeed and Mental Warriors. Will you... Give me a brief description of each. Yeah, opportunities to succeed is just it's a uh, it's eight uh, common sense points, but not common practice. You know, and I and I talk a little bit about them in the uh, presentation, and and I've, even recently I've weaved my a uh, personal story in through the presentation. You know, I didn't I didn't do that until just the last month. People kept saying you got to personalize this a little bit because I was using everybody else's stories. And, and, uh, so, you know, now I'm using a story I'm more familiar with and that has a workbook that follows up with it. And even a curriculum, um, the mental warriors is more a one-on-one -on -one program that really focuses on, again, the mental side of it, little things, but more performance. It's a more performance oriented, uh, uh, program. You've been uh, coached by some very, very uh, learned men over the years. Uh, you've worked under some incredible athletic directors, uh, very driven and motivated people, people who have at times struggled with um, perhaps you know, making right decisions or doing things the right way and thereby getting in, in the way of their own success. Are athletes as guilty of that as, as anybody? I think everybody's guilty of it. Who are you talking about, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. I'm not talking about Jay in particular. I'm talking about everybody. I mean, everybody. Yeah, everybody. It think, kind of yeah, sets up yeah. roadblocks uh, for themselves, either intentional or unintentionally, roadblocks to their success. And it seems yeah. almost self-defeating at times. I think knowingly and unknowingly, we all sabotage ourselves. You know, like they, you know, and that's one thing that I talk about in the program too, getting getting a hold on managing, you know, our, our, our biggest enemy or our greatest friend, you know, above our own shoulders. I mean, you know, we're thinking 24 seven, whether we're aware of it or not. And most of us aren't very good at it, you know? So, uh, you know, I really talk a lot about awareness and some of these things, really learning how to use the, the God given tools that we have and use them to serve us. And most of us, we don't give it any thought, you know, we search elsewhere, for answers and and uh, uh, solutions, when really we don't we don't even have home base taken care of. So you, in turn, now have developed these programs to help become a coach, if you will. Uh, and and let's face it, that's why our athletes continue on to college or continue on to wrestle for the United States. Uh, whatever their pursuits, they have a coach, somebody that can point out these things that they're not doing or things that they could do differently to achieve success. So you've been able to take that step into, as I said, a different type of coaching. But opportunities to succeed, succeed in mental warriors really is a neat idea in that 
this will give people a, a, a workbook to work through, a curriculum to follow. Uh, does it give one-on-one -on -one opportunities with you as well? Yeah, the Mental Warriors is. A lot of it that I'm doing by Mental Warriors is, is uh, through Skyping. Um, you know, here's the thing, Scott. And, uh, you know, everybody talks about this, but very few people do anything about it. You'll hear people talk about, uh, you know, how much of, of competing is mental. And, you know, people will throw high percentages out there, 80, 90, whatever it is. And uh, uh, I don't know what it is, but I know it, it plays a gigantic part. But, but the thing that confuses me and frustrates me is that, you know, people – all say that, admit that, talk about that, but what does anybody do? You know, I think a lot of people just hope because a year passes, they're going to be better. Or, you know, because they drill more or go to more camps, they're going to be better. And in some cases, yeah, but in a lot of cases, uh, you know, the the chink in the armor, you know, the the, the strain in the chain is is above the shoulders. You know, I've, I've coached and been around very few wrestlers. Well, actually, I've, I've never been around any who didn't need adjustments at time. But most athletes, uh, you know, really struggle to be consistent or compete to their potential um, be, because of, you know, their their own, like I said, they sabotage themselves. And, and people don't do anything about it. You know, they just show up and, and hope it goes away or, or hope they're able to overcome it or whatever it is. But you, it's like anything else. If you want to think right or think to your favor, you got to work at it. You got to spend time. Now, I'm a total believer in keeping things simple. But I do know this. You do not get better because a year passes. You know, because you're a year older, you do not get better. And your performance does not improve just on that you know, on its own. If you want to grow and improve and give your chance a better opportunity to succeed, you're going to have to get uncomfortable. You're going to have to face and do some things that maybe you haven't done before. Mm. Now, it seems like you're talking to, to wrestlers and even wrestling coaches, but there's, there, there perhaps is a, a larger target audience uh, for both opportunities to succeed in mental warriors, or am I, am I seeing it differently? It's way, it's, it, it's it's it goes way beyond athletics. This goes this goes just to just the human population. You know what I mean? This okay. is this encompasses the seven billion people on the planet. Um, not just wrestling, not just athletics. Um, it really, if if you if you uh, have a a thought process and you can comprehend, then. Uh, you know, there then you'll you'll be able to get something out of this program. But again, what I see a lot of times too, Scott, is you know uh, a lot of people they do a lot of reading, they watch a lot of this, they watch a lot of that, they gather a lot of information, but absolutely their behavior never changes. You know, they don't do anything with it. And the one thing that I really press in the program is, you know, you you got to take some action. You got to do something with this. Uh, with this knowledge that you have or, you know, or with these, this information that you have, um, you know, just act on some of the things that, you know, you know, f forget about well, and I'm all for self-education and continuing to learn, but I'm saying just act on some of the stuff, you know, and you'll, you'll get some different results. I we spend you. our whole life searching just, Hey, take what you know and do something with it. Mm. Positive reinforcement ideas that uh, we already have. What's above the neck, as you call it, what's above the neck. I call it what's between the ears. Uh, all Most of, of us know what to do right now, Scott. Most of us know what to do, how we could make our life better, how we could compete better, how we could be a better coach, a better parent, a better person, whatever it is. But yet we, we, we still we sit and wait and gather more information. and We don't act on what we know. We, you gotta, we got to do something, mm. all of us. So we're talking about motivating. We're talking about uh, inspiring. We're talking about taking what we know and making it work. And that's, you know, a lot of folks um, have little inspirational sayings that they look at every single day, a different one every single day. And if one word sticks out and stays with you, uh, and I think I can carry that uh, into wrestling, right? If, if you go to a summer camp, let's say you go to J-Rob's uh, 
Uh, I did at camp, okay? If you have one thing that you pull out of that camp that you employ in your repertoire, if in, out of, in your toolkit as a wrestler, one thing that you learned over those days and employ that because you've obviously been working on it, then you've taken away something that, that uh, is, is of value. But if you don't use it, what's the sense? doesn't matter you know and 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 i tell you what if you do and you do go and you get one thing and you do turn that into behavior that's a winning deal Mm -hmm. you're not going to go and get 30 things you know you're gonna you know hopefully you're gonna get one or two you know i i worked with brock prior to uh ufc 2000 about the three and a half four week mark prior and we were in contact on a daily basis one way or the other and uh i kept it simple and, you know, he called me after the fight. Now, I knew when he called me after the fight that night that there was something there because, you know, those guys have, a, you know, they got interviews, they got, they got things they have to do. And he told me that one of the things that we talked about is what he focused on in the second round because he said he was close to, he wasn't in the greatest place, but he just focused on just one simple thing and that got him through the second round, and he got his bearings back, and, uh, you know, he won the fight. And that was a big deal for him after being out of the cage for five years and getting shellacked the last time he was in the cage. You know, he needed to come back and prove to himself and everybody else that he could do this. And he carried a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of pressure going into that. And, um, you know, it was just one thing that we talked about that got him through. So, you know, you never know where you're going to get that one thing. And one thing that, you know, another thing that frustrates me, Scott, is a lot of people think, uh, you know, that if they're talking to somebody or working to somebody that other people are going to perceive that as they're broken or they're defective. And it's like, no, 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 wait a second here, man. Everybody needs direction. And, and the, the best, the highest level athletes, they're all doing something like this because they know that a lot of times the physical uh the physical things are going to be matched up they know the difference is going to be a lot of times in their mental climate and their mentality and uh, you know i think people shy away from uh you know spending any time doing anything with that one they don't know how but two they're they're afraid of being perceived as a head case or whatever it is we're all head cases you know, it's the human condition. <laughs> We're all head cases, man. I mean, we all need some direction and and some balance and semblance and uh, some uh, you know learning how to balance you know things. We all do. So, what makes you qualified to deliver these presentations and programs? And 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 furthermore, why you over anyone else? I think the biggest thing, and I think there's a lot of good people out there, don't get me wrong, but I, but I have the hands-on experience, hmm. you know, um, I didn't just go through these experiences with my eyes closed. I went through a lot of these experiences with my eyes and mind open, and I've spent thousands and thousands of hours, um, you know, uh, you know, thinking about these things, reading about these things, writing about these things, investigating, studying uh, you know, other people and myself. And, and, uh, uh, I just think the hands-on trench experience as an athlete, as a coach and as a student puts me in a good position to certainly be able to help, uh, you know, other people and point them in uh direction. You know, I was talking to one dad and he said, his kid, you know, read through the stuff we were talking about and he said he didn't see any value in it for him. And all I can do is just shake my head. You know, it's like, yeah, all we can do is put it in front of you. You know, I mean, you're going to know in a couple of years, you know, you're going to, you're going to go, now I know what he's talking about, but, but we all do that too. So we're trying to get these people up front so they don't have to learn the hard way to, you know, try to get it up front. But, uh, you know, a lot of people, they'll, they'll spend their money on wrestling clubs and coaches and things like that. But when it comes to something like this that everybody says is important, you know, people want to shy away from it. They, they really, uh, even though they know that's probably the, the biggest piece of the puzzle and can make the biggest difference, Sure. you know. 
And you're talking about being a lifetime learner, really. I think that is constantly ready, willing, and able to assess, reassess where you're at in life, what you'd like to see change. And, and sometimes it's difficult for people to be able to sit down and take a inventory, if you will, of where you are in life, what you would like to see different, how you would like to see those changes made. But uh, perhaps they need a guide. Perhaps they need a coach. Perhaps they need a skilled veteran of doing just that. How can people get a hold of you? Uh well, f Facebook, you know, right now I'm really focusing on Facebook, my page, Opportunities to Succeed, and just Mark Schwab. I have a website, you know, that's www.opportunities to succeed, all one word, dot com. It's being worked on right now. Okay. Or just my, or just my phone number, you know, 319-242-2598. Um, everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs direction. You know, and the good thing about what I'm trying to promote or do here is that, you know, unlike a single leg that can only be used in wrestling, you know, a lot of the things that we talk and work on are things that these kids or, 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 or adults or whoever it is can, can take on into life and even other arenas, you know, I mean, there's a lot of transfer here um, because let's face it, the attitude and the mentality in whatever you go into, it's going to be the biggest difference. Right. It's going to make a difference who you hang around, what kind of job, what kind of mate, where you, it's, it's going to make the biggest difference, period. You're going to make positive decisions. You can get a hold of Mark Schwab at mark at opportunities to succeed.com. Look for him on Facebook as well, either under opportunities to succeed or just Mark Schwab. That's S C H W A B Mark Schwab. You of course know that name, uh, not just from uh, his wrestling background, but his coaching background as well. And this is something we endorse highly. Um, we've known Mark, we've known his brother, we've known his family for a number of years. And we know that they're very motivated people. One uh, are guys that are, are, always looking for ways to help each other. And this is one of those opportunities for you. Opportunities to do what? To succeed, to be mental warriors, to, to man your own ship, to be able to right your own ship and put your sail up, take your sail down. But either way, it should be something you do Have it after having talked about it. Mark, is there anything we've missed in this initial interview that you would like to touch on before we, uh, we hit the wall here? You know, only that, well, first, thanks a lot, Scott. You've always been really good to us. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm just one guy trying to follow my purpose. You, you know, I, I do believe in what I'm doing. Um, I think, you know, I'm going to be able to relate to whoever it is because, you know, I, you know, I know a lot about falling short as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, um, there's been some success, but there's been probably more falling short along the way as well. You know, as an athlete coaching, I mean, I, I've been everywhere in between too. It's not, you know, uh, I've had a little bit of everything. Thank God I've had some success, but there's been a lot more beatdowns and discouragements and things like that. And everybody has that. And sometimes we need help getting through some of that too. You know, I, I know what it's like to face major injuries, you know, pressure situations, um, you know, coming back from adversity. And, and, you know, I realize what an athlete or human being goes through, both the ups and downs. And uh, I, I just think with my experience that I could help a lot of people. And, and that's what I want to do. Recently, there was a letter published by Jordan Burroughs to, well, to the sport, really. It was an open letter uh, describing his disappointment, describing his needs emotionally and and where he's at. And he kind of hinted at the idea of perhaps he might think about not lacing up the boots one more time. Um, he did not have the Olympic Games that he wanted to have that prior to. I mean, he'd been running through his weight class like, like nobody's business. But sometimes our expectations can get tied up with the idea of what other people have for us, the expectations that other people have for us. And, um, and I'm hoping that perhaps you would, be that, uh, you, know, you would be that guide for some young athlete or some business person or uh, anybody out there who's having trouble separating the two because we can be our own worst enemies, but sometimes you know, those around us can be 
uh, complicit as well. Am I correct? Absolutely, in that? absolutely. Mm. Well, we take ourselves worth. We take our self worth based on what we think other people think. You know, and and we're all guilty of that. I mean, we're all we're all cracked a little bit. You know what I mean? We're all trying to uh, figure things out. You know what I mean? Um, none of us have it down. All we do is we maybe know some better ways than others to do things. And uh, I, I just think, you know, I've always had great respect for for the elderly because um, I, I just think people who have gone before me, um, you know, I respect that. You know, I respect that. And I think they can tell me things that only they can tell, you know, that I can't get from a book or I can't get from somewhere else, you know, that uh, – uh, you know, and that's that's why my experience. I believe I can help a lot of athletes, mm. a lot a lot of people in general. Mark, can we do this again? Let's do it. I'd love to, man. And folks, here's an opportunity to take a second look, take the chance to do more than you are doing today. Be a little bit smarter. Take that opportunity to succeed. And the invitation comes from Mark Schwab himself. Look for him on Facebook. Email him at mark at opportunities to succeed.com. Mark, give him that telephone number one more time. 319-242-2598. For all yeah. of us at Take Down Media, I'm Scott Casper. Our guest in the Nike hot seat today has been one of the uh, coaches for well i've been working with him for a long time and i think you'd enjoy working with him too mark schwab opportunities to succeed thanks for watching thanks guys